Hey, what's up, guys? So, um, I am in the uh, Ram TRX. Um, I'm headed back to the dealership. Um, I talked to the general manager this morning, and uh, he said bring it back. And so, they're gonna, they're, I guess they're gonna look at it. I don't know what they're gonna do. I mean, I've already, um, so basically, I took some painter's tape and I taped up every every possible seam of the truck around the A-pillar and almost the entire windshield um, and the sunroof and even around the mirror um, even the glass around the door and I, I could not find the source of the infamous uh, ram uh, whistling noise so I did some more research um, online, uh, actually the past couple of days, unfortunately since I've owned this truck, which has only been about five or six days. And I realized this is a common issue amongst uh, Gen 5 Rams. I think there's some Gen 4 Rams that had the issue too, but um, <clears throat> apparently this is a common issue. Um, so I've heard people claim that the issue was fixed by replacing the uh, the AC blend door uh, basically when you put the thing on recirculation right there or not that changes whether or not you get wind noise well that's not the case on this one and some other people said they've replaced a weather strip yada 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 um, <clears throat> so I don't know I'm not convinced that they will be able to fix it I know I'm a, I'm a I'm being pessimistic, but I'm, I'm going to give them a chance to to fix it. And I, I I expressed my concerns about that whole situation. You know, I said, look, I said, you know, I don't want service tearing into this truck trying to trying to find the source of the the whistling. To me, taking a vehicle back for warranty repair. Uh, could actually be more detrimental and worse to your new vehicle than actually just living with the problem in hand. So I'm gonna let them take it and I'm gonna let them, you know, figure it out. Uh, hopefully, try to fix it. But um, yeah, I'm not a I'm not a happy happy camper right now. And this this dealership is literally almost an hour away from where I live. I've already. I've already between last Friday and let's see it's Thursday now I have literally been back and forth to this dealer about four times so at any rate we're going to get it back over there um, the GM he, he, he seems to be like a good guy um, I'm not going to pass any judgment whatsoever I'm going to let them do their due diligence and uh, see what they come up with but uh, I mean, I'm not even, I'm not even having fun driving this TRX, guys. I mean, I, if I was having fun with it, I'd be, I'd be pretty much dogging everybody on the road here right now. But I just, I'm not in it. I don't feel it. I, I can't even enjoy the truck. That's, that's no. Well, I take that back. That is not where I'm at. So I am right here. But yeah, I'm. So yeah, they're supposed to give me a loaner. We'll see what the loaner is. I'm not sure what it's going to be, but we'll we'll find out what the loaner is. I'll catch y'all a little bit. Okay, y'all, what's up? The saga uh, the saga continues. So um, and the GM over there at the dealership was he was he's super nice. Um, I, I can't I can't say enough about um how great um he's handled the situation um so i i just you know if, if they know where my youtube channel is if they if they see this video i you know my thanks go out to them i mean i know they're they're not the ones it's not their fault um it's it's i, I don't know but it's not their fault so he put me in a 2020 uh this is a power wagon it's got the 6.4 him in it but um truck's great y'all but I ain't gonna lie <laughs> albeit it's not as bad as the brand new 21 uh, 2021 TRX 
it's literally making the same whistling sound over here in this general area. So I don't, Ram, what is, what is going on with your trucks, man? Um, I, <laughs> I, I don't know. Anyway, I just want to give you guys an update. Um, they put me in a power wagon loaner and I really appreciate what the dealership is doing for me. Um, I know right now it's hard times. They're putting up with a lot and I, I just can't say enough about um, how well they're handling the situation. Um, I really appreciate it. But anyway, Ram, we got to figure out what's going on these trucks. Um, Stellantis, if you're watching, if you watch the videos, y'all got to figure this one out. Um, this, this is not cool. You, you can't have, when you got Chevy and Ford and you're competing with those guys, you can't have wind noise coming through your cabin of your truck. And it, it's at low speeds. So, albeit this one's not as bad as the TRX, um, it, you can still hear it. it it's not normal. All right, I'm out. Peace.